Now let's create migration, cedar and the model for the comments. We only want registered users to be able to make comments. We need a column named user ID. And comment needs to have some content. So in this case, we are going to use string instead of long text. And we are going to name this column content but we also need to know to which post this comment is related so we're going to add another integer type and the column name of post ID and now we can run this migration Great. Now let's add some comments to the cedar. If we take a look at the post table, we can see posts with IDs of 1, 2 and 3. So make sure you don't set anything else than that. And make sure you change the table post to comment. Now let's double check that table is created. And we set all three required properties. Now let's run composer dump auto load to make our cedar visible and simply run php artisan db seed and define the class to comment cedar great now let's check if and as you can see we have three comments in the comments table. 